Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Noor Saira, a practicing endodontist from India. Well, this is the holy month of Ramadan and Ramadan Mubarak to everybody. Well, for those of you who do not know what Ramadan is, it is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar and it is here where we fast for the whole month from sunrise to sunset. A lot of you have been asking me a question of how to study during the month of Ramadan. Well, I understand the anxiety and it's quite understandable that we are fasting from sunrise to sunset without food and water and we are exhausted and we feel a little glucose depleted and it's very difficult to focus and concentrate and study for the exams. Well, here I am and I'm going to help you share my experiences uh, of how I prepared for my exams in the past which fell during or after the month of Ramadan. So let me help you out with seven tips that can make your life better and help you prepare for the exams. Let's move on. Well, the first tip is that you have a positive mindset and you need to prepare yourself mentally that this task is doable and you're capable enough to do it even when you are fasting. And the only thing that you have to do is to find out a schedule that is suitable to you and to adjust to the schedule and give yourself enough time to adjust to it. Well, tip number two is to adjust to the schedule. Now, let me share my experiences with you of how I planned my day and how I studied whenever I had to prepare for an exam which fell during or after the month of Ramadan. Well, a little bit about me is that I finished my BDS in the year 2012 and my master's of dental surgery in the year 2015 and currently I'm pursuing my fellowship from the Lawrence College of Physicians and Surgeons from Glasgow. So I can very much put in the confidence in you to say that I have performed well and talked in most of, of my subjects during my academic years even when the exams were during or after the month of Ramadan. So let me go ahead and tell you my schedule of how I start my day. Well, the suhoor which starts at 4 o'clock and 4 to 5.30 is when we eat and pray during or for the sunrise prayers or the fajr prayers. So during suhoor, you make sure that you eat a very limited amount and that you don't overfill yourself so that you don't have a, a kind of a you know sleepy day ahead because you know that you have to sit and study after this and you make sure that you have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea whatever you prefer so that it provides you some amount of caffeine and it also prevents you from fasting headache now after 5 30 to 8 o'clock or to 8 30 is when you will sit down and study and because this is the time you have just slept and you've woken up and you are already awake you have had something to eat and you've had a cup of coffee which will keep you fresh and uh, you pick up a difficult subject which you find very difficult to study uh, and you need more focus and you need more concentration and this is the time between 5.30 to 8.30 is when you will study this subject and after 8.30 you will take a nap till 12, 12.30 whichever whatever is comfortable for you for about a period of at least 3 to 4 hours so after you've woken up at 12.30 you will go freshen up and you will pray Zohar because it is Zohar timings and uh, then you will sit down with another difficult subject because you have just woken up and you are fresh it is still in the early afternoons and you can still manage your hunger and you can still keep yourself a little bit focused and so this is the time when you will study uh, another difficult subject that's between one to three o'clock and you will try to wind up uh, this difficult subject during this time and of course you can always take a small break in the middle that is between uh, you can study from 1 to 2 and take a small break and then sit down again from 2.15 to 3 o'clock and wind up with this uh, difficult subject. Now after 3, you will uh, take another small break that is 3 to 3.30 and from 3.30 to 5 that I will advise you that either you pick up a very very easy topic which you've already studied before or you pick up uh, this as your revision time. Now of course you always need to have one hour in a day which uh, wherein you will revise what you have studied previously in that week or the day before or two three days before that so it's very important to have one hour set aside for revision and that's how 
you're able to reinforce your long-term memory for the exam so this would be the perfect timing for the revision that is when you are a little bit more exhausted and you cannot focus when you cannot concentrate on you know putting new information into the mind or a difficult subject into the mind so around 3 30 to 5 o'clock is where either you will sit down with a very very easy topic or you'll pick up a topic which you just have to revise and just go through it one more time or just you know just go through your notes and this will be a better time for you to revise it will be like a confidence booster for you because you don't have to put in much energy but you are still doing something productive and you're still covering the portions so, so it will not only bring in confidence to you but also bring about some amount of peace that you did study and you did some form of revision during the time when you were also exhausted then from 5 to 7 you can always uh, sit down and relax this time because now it's the main time or where you will do your iftar, your iftar preparations, your prayers, your asa prayers and you can open, go ahead, open your fast, do you do your maghrib prayers and um, then you have a relaxing period with your family, you chill with your family and after 7 o'clock when you have finished your maghrib prayers and you relax after some time from approximately 7.30 or 7.45 to another 10 o'clock uh, you will pick up a difficult subject because you have just eaten uh, you've had some coffee or tea and your mind is fresh again and you can pick up some amount of information so eight o'clock to ten o'clock or um, ten thirty would be another time where you can pick up a difficult subject to study you can relax for some time and you can give yourself another half an hour of revision or some easy topic and ideally by eleven thirty you should wind up your studies and 11 30 to 12 is when you will relax your mind a bit watch something that you like uh, you will have to reframe your mind to go to sleep and by 12 you should go to sleep and wake up by four o'clock and then you have to go again and from 5 30 to 8 o'clock you will sit down and study so the cycle continues now this is uh, what suited me the best when you will have to do some amount of permutation and combination to see what works best for you now this shay will work best for those do not have to attend school or classes during the month of Ramadan or for people who are not working. Now what if you are somebody who has to attend the classes or attend school or working during the month of Ramadan and still have an exam to prepare for. Now for those kind of people you will have to use your post iftar or post maghrib time very very smartly and very very carefully. Now that is approximately say from 8 o'clock to about 11 you will study a very difficult subject and try to cover up that subject in those three hours and you will go to bed after that and wake up for your suhoor around 4 30 and after suhoor you will finish your prayers like i said have a cup of coffee have something limited to eat and don't overstuff yourself maintain some discipline and after uh, 5 30 you can sit down and study till 8 and if you're somebody who's working from 8 to 4 you will come back by 4 uh, probably cover up with your prayers and go to sleep until the iftar time and uh, you'll have to relax yourself after you come back from work and sleep well until the iftar time and post the iftar or post the maghrib is again when you will sit down and study again so you will have to cover up major of the portions during iftar sorry after iftar and after suhoor now the tip number three is to keep a realistic approach towards your portions now you have to remember that you are fasting and you have kept a very positive mindset but it is also important for you to remember not to overburden yourself so that you don't get exhausted or you don't get mentally drained up so you have to plan a schedule for yourself for the whole month because you already know what time your classes are going to be or whether you whether you not have any classes or what time your suhoor is going to be and what time your iftar is going to be so you have to plan out the entire month for yourself and remember not to overburden yourself with excessive amount of unrealistic uh, covering up of the portions. Uh, keep a realistic approach, keep a realistic schedule, keep it a little bit flexible so that you are able to also relax in the middle and the more you are able to relax the more you have a more positive mindset and the more that you are able to cover. Also make sure that you have some reward for yourself at the end of the day each day uh, that keeps you motivated anything small for example a chocolate bar or a small pen that you like 
or a small stationary item that you like or anything that will keep you motivated throughout the day uh, that you achieve your goal and you are rewarded for that now keep a very realistic approach keep portions only that can be covered during that period of time and this will keep you in a very peaceful zone and happy zone uh, if you are in a peaceful and happy zone you're able to concentrate more and plan out the whole schedule write it down and in a piece of paper and um, that will help you focus better and concentrate better tip number four is that you write and learn now this is the time when you are finding it difficult to focus and concentrate just by reading you would be sleepy you would be glucose depleted you will find it very difficult to focus and concentrate so it's important for you to write it and learn it will help you develop a picture memory now when you write and learn or when you draw and learn you're not only uh, reinforcing writing but you're also reinforcing the whole information in your brain and that will help you develop a, something called as a picture memory or it will reinforce long-term memory and you're able to grasp the information better and you're able to remember it for a long time tip number five is to be patient now remember that this is a little difficult time and that you're fasting from sunrise to sunset and you have this whole exam burden that is going on it's definitely not easy uh, make yourself understand that it is not going to be easy and you have to be patient now be patient enough to understand that it is going to take some amount of extra efforts to keep you going and uh, it's going to definitely going to bring about positive results so none of the hard work ever goes for some waste and uh, just keep yourself cool calm and be patient tip number six is to make a lot of dua that is uh, make sure that you are not skipping your prayers now you take those five minutes break during the day to complete your prayers on the time now this will not only instill a positive mindset but it also bring in a lot of peace to you and uh, those five minutes of praying in front of Allah or in front of God uh, to you know bring about results of your hard work will definitely reinforce some amount of confidence in you some amount of peace in you so do not miss those uh, five minutes break for the prayers that you will take well tip number seven is for those who are staying in hostels or those who have siblings to study together in group studies make sure you're studying uh, along with another one more person another two or three people so that you keep yourself motivated and you don't feel alone and you're able to keep progress together you can always also do a group study um, through a whatsapp call or any other form of calls to keep yourself engaged with the other person that's also studying along with you so I hope these seven points or this uh, seven tips were helpful to you to prepare. Well, these helped me a lot to prepare during my exams, which fell during or after the month of Ramadan. And I wish a lot of happiness, peace and positive results for, for everybody that is preparing uh, for exams during the month of Ramadan. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please comment below and hit the subscription button so that you are aware whenever I upload another video. Have a good day and thank you. For more such videos, please like, share, follow and subscribe my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. Have a good day. Thank you.